In this video, I will be installing the MicroAir EasyTouch RV thermostat. Um, uh, first thing I did here, so you can see it on the wall there next to the TV. First thing I did down in the circuit panel is pulled the fuse for the furnace, uh, at least in my trailer, it's a 280 KVS. It's the furnace fuse that controls the power for the thermostat. So we pulled that so we have no power there. Um, with this thermostat, it's pretty easy to remove it. Mine just lifts up and off the wall and here are the wires and so the instructions recommend that you take a picture to show which wires go where so I will do that first. With this thermostat it's pretty nice because the markings and the terminals are exactly the same as the back of the original thermostat. Then it's just a matter of transferring the wires over one by one. You use a screwdriver to push on these little things and the wires will will pop out. So I'm just going to do two at a time so I don't lose track of who goes where. Okay, I've got all the wires transferred over. I did go ahead and cut off the ends and, and, and re-stripped them just to straighten them out because they were kind of crunched up. And now to mount it, um, I'm going to remove these original mounting holes. It comes with a mounting kit um, but I think I'm just going to use a command hook strips and uh, mount it with that. So these uh, Velcro-y kind of command strips should do the job. It's what I saw in the video, YouTube video from Changing Lanes. They did this uh, same installation and uh, I'll, I'll post the link to their video because he goes also into more detail on programming and he actually installed three of these um, for each of their air conditioners. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this on the back and uh, we should be good to go. Make sure you get the top at the top. It's written right on here, top, so you know which goes where. And I did have to cut these just a little bit shorter. Shove the wires back in the hole. Make sure we're covering our bottom hole here. I got myself a little level. Okay, it is installed and up and running. Um, I already set up the app and my account on my iPhone. Um, and uh, you initially connect to the thermostat via Bluetooth and then you can set up the Wi-Fi settings. Um, so right now you see the green Wi-Fi icon there. It is connected to uh, my uh, trailer's uh, router, uh, Wi-Fi router. So um, everything's looking good here. Um, I, uh, I set it up for the type of furnace that we have, um, which of course is just a propane fired furnace and the air conditioner and, uh, and it works through the app as well. So it really was a pretty straightforward installation. Um, again, I'll link to the YouTube video from Changing Lanes uh, down below. Uh, he does a much more thorough overview since he installed three of these things. Um, and uh, you shouldn't have any trouble at all installing this. So I hope you found this helpful.